Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah and today we're reviewing the one, the only, Jeffree Star x Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palette. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk about packaging. I'm going to be talking about price, I'm going to be talking about formula, as well as the pig mirror and then the makeup bag that was part of the collection as well. If you guys are interested in this eye look right here, I will go ahead and leave it time stamped right down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this review right here. first thing that I actually purchased and I was really excited about was the pig mirror right here. Now I do have a regular Jeffree Star mirror. I, I literally have no idea where it is, but I do own it. I own the green one, but this is way bigger. It is literally the size of my head. Um, this retails for $30 comes in black and pink and it is just so freaking cute but here she is she is so cute and it just felt like the pink hair and the pig mirror were just like it was just a moment for me well worth the $30 if I say so myself next piece in the collection is actually gonna be this huge pig makeup bag I mean like can we take a minute and talk about how massive this bag is I think black was the only color and it has a little pig logo right there as well as on here and if we take a look at the actual palette, like you can fit this palette and then some into this makeup bag. It is so cute. It has little pink logos as well as the star. And it is so, so cute. I cannot wait to take this traveling, even though I really don't travel much. But I'm excited to use her and have her in my collection. I feel like the palette is like the one piece of the beauty community that we were missing, but we didn't quite know it yet. So here she is. This is the Conspiracy palette in all of her glory. She is a three-dimensional palette. She comes with this amazing logo on the front and then the Shane Dawson x Jeffree Star little emblem in the center as well. On the side, you're going to notice that there are two little black buckles they open up and close to lock your palette into place and then when we open her up the palette comes with 18 amazing shades and this retails for $52 here she is she is gonna be well loved and well used in my collection I love that the top row contains six neutral shades you have the next row which is gonna be your fun little pops of color and then the last row which are gonna be more of your vampy looks I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this really quick as far as the formula goes I think that the formula on this palette is pretty much like every single other Jeffree Star palette his formula is the um dot com he is just they're awesome. I love that the colors are buildable, they're blendable, they work well together, and I did create this look right here using this palette. Let's go ahead, let's get into this tutorial right here. Make sure that you guys do subscribe to my channel down below if you are not like interested in this tutorial. Please don't like leave me hanging, you're already here. Just, you know, just do it. Like you're already here, you know what I mean? Like just, it's right down there. So just just do it, okay? I will go ahead and leave everything linked down below if you're interested on what else is on my face. Again, eyes, highlight, everything Jeffree Star. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial right here. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and take the color Food Videos, which is this bright ass yellow right here and we're going to begin to pack that all over the lid. I also did take a setting powder. I'm using the Jeffree Star setting powder today, but you use whatever translucent setting powder you would like. Just because although this palette is beautiful, there is a lot of kickback and a lot of fallout, so be prepared. I'm also going to take that shade on a pencil brush just to kind of map out where I want that yellow to lay. And as you can see on this eye, I blew that yellow like all over. So we're going to do the same thing on this eye. I did prime my eye with concealer today just so you guys know with this bright color I honestly wish I would have done like a white concealer with it mixing like with my like foundation it's not as bright as I would like it to be so just a heads up for you now that I have that shade in the basic pattern that I wanted I'm gonna go in with a fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend this shade out and kind of add a little bit more to it and just really like blow that color out so just keep blending that shade in we want drama with this look 
All right, next shade that we're gonna go into is called Not A Fact, which is this beautiful burgundy deep purple shade. And same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a packing brush and I'm just gonna start off by putting the shape that I want this look to be in first and then we'll kind of fill everything else in. not too too worried about filling this in just because we're gonna kind of go back in and build it back up I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade flaming hot which is this bright red right here I'm gonna go along the edges of not a fact which again was the burgundy shade and just kind of blend that into food videos which was the yellow shade And I'm taking that shade like so delicately along the edges just because reds can get out of hand real quick. I'm going to go back in with the brush that had the yellow on it. I'm not adding any more yellow. And same thing, I'm just lightly going between those two shades. So we're going to go back in with the brush that had the burgundy shade which was not a fact and begin to build that shade back up. All right, I might have to go back in with the red, but for right now, we will leave it. Now for the fun part, which is gonna be working on the middle of the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and take a flat packing brush. I did not wet this. I'm gonna go into this shade right down here, which is called Illuminati. I'm gonna take it on the brush and just begin to pack that onto my lid. Now when I'm packing it on, I'm kind of going in almost like a triangle shape where I'm keeping it wider towards the lash line and kind of feathering it up towards the crease. The fact that this doesn't have any liquid, nothing, no base besides concealer on is absolutely incredible to me. Like it just performs so well. again don't worry about the edges too too much right now we'll go back in we'll blend everything out next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade diet cola which is this beautiful metallic silver I'm gonna take it on the other side of this brush and I'm gonna go in the middle kind of keeping it towards like I don't know like a third away from the edge on both sides because then we're gonna go in with a third color in the middle to kind of create more dimension I'm going to take the shade Ranch, which is this white, again, metallic, and put it on the middle of that lid. I'm taking that Flaming Hot one more time just because I feel like I'm missing a little bit more dimension on this eye. And I'm just flattening the brush and just lightly going on that edge again just to blend the colors together. It's not doing what I want it to, which is always my issue whenever I do one eye. And then like the other later is it never blends the way I want it. I'm just going back in and kind of trying to get the same effect that I had on the other eye. And then I'm just taking right now a clean blending side of the other, like the other end of this brush. Blending it just ever so slightly. Let's work on the lower lash line before I get too far into this. The lower lash line on this look is honestly kind of my favorite and it's kind of everything. I like that it's really heavy like towards this side of the eye. Let's have some fun and do this. I'm gonna take again, continuing to take the same color over and over, I'm gonna take Not A Fact, put that pretty heavily on the outer edge of this eye and I'm still keeping that powder on for right now because you never know what craziness can unfold. I'm gonna pack that on the outer third of my eye and then I'm going to take it again, do the inner corner pretty heavily with this shade. I'm going to assume that this shade is probably going to stain me just because it's more on the pink side. So if you're not into that, you maybe don't want to use it. And again, you can see the amount of fallout just right there. Also this wig, man. I'm going to take a blending brush and just begin to kind of blend the bottom half of this like little winged out portion with not a fact. fluffier blending brush with the yellow on it. I'm going to take food videos and add it back 
kind of right in between where my eye and my highlighter is gonna be. I'm gonna take Flaming Hot on the same brush and just blend it between Not A Fact and Food Videos, just slightly right there. I'm like tucking it at the base of my eye socket. These colors just blend so nicely. I love Jeffrey's just, his whole formula on mattes, he just has down. Like, I don't know what it is, but he's got it. I'm gonna take the same brush that had Flaming Hot on it. I'm gonna add it to the inner corner. I'm gonna take it again, the exact same brush, go into food videos, and just add that yellow right there. You're looking hella crazy at this moment. I'm well aware. I'm gonna take the same packing brush that we had Illuminati on. Illuminati. tea. I'm going to take it and pack it right on the middle of my eye between the two shades that we just laid down on the bottom, kind of creating that halo eye effect on the lower lash line. Diet Cola, once again, go right over that one more time, and then Ranch. That is basically it. As far as everything that I can do at this moment, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a lash as well as some mascara, and then we will finish up the rest of this look. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and I finished up this look. I took Ranch, which is that metallic white shade, and I went ahead and highlighted my cheekbone, my inner corner, and my brow bone with that, and it is such a good highlighting shade. Let's go ahead and dive into my final thoughts as far as the Conspiracy palette. This palette is just something that I think if you want something where you can open this up, have a day-to-day -day look, but also pop like a little bit of color on your lower lash line or whatever you want. I think this is a really, really good palette and a good place to start. Now, if you're a collector, you enjoy Jeffree Star Cosmetics in general. It's the best of both worlds. You have an amazing mind that's going in and basically giving you, you know, amazing creativity as far as color stories, packaging, everything like that. But then you have Jeffree Star's business savvy and also his makeup formula to kind of, you know, collide and create this amazing collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial right here. I hope that you guys enjoy my channel. Make sure that you guys subscribe right down below and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.